His promise was to have a third of ministerial roles, not cabinet, but ministerial roles given to women uh, by, by 2015. OK, he shuffled the, the aces, the kings and the queens in his pack, if you like. Today, he's still going to be dealing with the twos, threes and fours, some of those more junior roles. So perhaps we will see some more women entering government. But he's been accused, for example, uh, by Yvette Cooper of Labour of having a blind spot when it comes to the top jobs for women. David Cameron was criticised when he announced his first cabinet two years ago because of the lack of women in the inner circle. Just five of the cabinet members were women before the reshuffle. Caroline Spellman and Cheryl Gillan have left. Teresa Villiers and Maria Miller have now been promoted. And although Baroness Varsi will continue to attend meetings, she's been demoted to the role of minister, leaving just four women with full cabinet posts, one fewer than before. On the other hand, Labour leader Ed Miliband has shown much more of a feminine side in his appointments. He has 11 women in cabinet roles, plus a further two who attend meetings, which makes 13 women in total, almost half his shadow cabinet.